Hi, everyone. So today is Sunday. And I think I am 10 days into the fast. I have to check my calendar. But I just wanted to come on here and just share you guys what I do on Sunday uh, to get ready for church. I'm so excited. This is like the epitome of the week is as you fasted all week and then you go to church and you go be with the other believers and you go praise God and worship Him and just thanking Him for all those things that you've petitioned Him for, you know, all week long you've been in agreement for. So I'm just so excited. I mean, church is such a powerful place to be. High vibrating frequency place for miracles to happen environment. So definitely when you're fasting, you want to make sure that you make it to the house of God. So I'm about to get ready uh, to go to church and I'm going to show you as I prepare or should I? I don't know. And then I'm going to just take you throughout my day. So I'm going to meet up with the ex-co-worker Aisha. We're going to go have a Moroccan bath. I haven't had my Moroccan bath in a, in a minute. Go get all these dead cells scrubbed off of our bodies and also after that I think before that we're going to go have coffee and just sit down and talk and just catch up spread this to bring out the blue and the red in the dress. Okay, so leaving Dubai, you have the option of being dropped on the Dubai side and then walking to the Sharjah side to catch a Sharjah taxi. And that way you can avoid a 20 dirham toll. So that's what I'm doing. I just got dropped off on this side, which is the Dubai side with Dubai taxis. Hopefully you can see it. And then now I am headed to the Sharjah side to catch a Sharjah taxi to go to church. So this is how I get to church every Sunday now. Because we used to go to church on Friday. Currently the church is having service 
and I, they're renting space in the Kentucky Fried Chicken on Sundays. So until they get their own. So this is where we meet. As you can hear, there's music. Then there's another church that's going on down there. It was a very great time in the Lord just worshiping him and praising him and right now just expect good things to happen, expect miracles to happen. Part of my Thrive acronym is E is expect good things to happen and that's what I'm doing. So I'm in the taxi headed to the back side of the Sahara Center. I'm going to actually get on the bus this time to take to the train station. Okay, okay, I made it to the Mall of Emirates. Now I have to find the restaurant that Aisha is talking about, the Hummingbird restaurant. So on my way to there, actually early, because we're supposed to meet at three, but she said she was gonna try to come early, but you know how um, <laughs> Africans are. <laughs> She's African and Caribbean, so they're like always late. Like, seriously. So I asked her what she's going to be on African time or American time. That she's going to be on American time because she wants to catch up with me. So we'll see. I'll let you know. Okay, so this is a map of the mall. Desert sun. About to go get a Moroccan bath. Yes. Woo. Bath it up. <laughs> Scrub it up. Scrub, Scrub it up, dub. We're gonna My body this. needs it too. So fresh and so clean. Clean. Yes. So fresh and so clean. Getting this body ready for our anniversary next week. Ooh, oh my this is our Holy Trinity anniversary. Love so yes, getting this body right. So 
we just finished. Yes. Oh, I feel so refreshed. I can't believe how much dirt was on me. <laughs> like it was black. <laughs> But it was beautiful. Yeah. So, so good. Like, that steam room. Everything. Gave me life. It gave me life too. And I feel like the lady was good as well. Yeah. I feel so refreshed. My body feels so good. It doesn't feel scaly. No. Like some parts were feeling a little scaly. And I think it's because of the dry heat here. And it can get to your skin. So I really do recommend, like, if you live in UAE, that you should get these, like, probably once every six weeks. Yeah, just me. Once every six weeks. But I, I feel so good. You've had a Moroccan bath before, haven't you? And in Morocco. Okay. Not and I've, I've had a Morocco bath in Morocco and in Paris and here. When I had it here, I was in Rix, Rix, Rixos at Jamira Beach. So which one was your favorite one then? Of course, Rixos at Jamira Beach. But... <laughs> But I, booties. but I still enjoyed this. It yeah. was so authentic. The lady was really nice, even though she didn't understand our English. Oh, but she's fully Moroccan. She, she's Moroccan. She was not so she knew what she was doing. Like, like seriously, she was speaking to us in Arabic the whole time. Mm -hmm. It was like mm, mm, water. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So I would give it a thumbs up. Yeah. So go to Posh. Pout. Pout? Michelle, you always mention up names. Always. <laughs> Words. Pout. Everything. Pout. So we, we recommend Pout. 